Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to permanently and properly repair a rust hole in your car. In this case, our rust hole is in the floorboard, so let's go underneath the car and let me show you the rust we need to repair. So right here is the is a large rust hole. Not only does it go through to the interior, but right here is a structural point for Don't worry, there will be an in-depth DIY video on how to install your very own turbo kit with common hand tools. But before we do that, we need to fix some obvious... Hello? Alright guys, so the reason why I'm changing my stator out today is because there's too much resistance and so it's not charging the battery so it's just been leaving me out in the middle of nowhere. And the way you can test that out is by the two linked videos. So these are the tools you're going to need. Alright, so the first tip you want to do to changing your stator is to drain the oil. Now, warm oil does run smoother than cold oil. If you have the option to, if you're able, turn on your ATV. Unfortunately, I can't. But uh, either way, you want to get most of the oil out. Alright, so for this, you're going to want to use a 12mm socket. Alright, that looks like everything from our tank. Alright, now that we've drained the tank, let's go drain the case. Alright, and so for the case bolt, you're going to want to use a 22. Alright, now that we got all the oil out, we can move this. I'm gonna clean this up real quick. Now we gotta find this drain bolts in here. Alright, now let's go put it back so. Alright, let's just make sure to and tighten this so that we don't forget. Now before you take off the case, what you're going to want to do is go up, take off the seat, and go next to where the battery is, and unplug all the wires and pull them out through here. Alright, next you're going to want to take off this hose right here, and for that you're going to have to move this down a bit, so as you normally would here, here, hold it. Alright, so you're gonna have to make sure to remember to catch this oil ring right here because you're gonna have to put it back. Alright, next you're gonna want to take off this chain cover using a number 5 hex socket. Alright, now that we've taken off the chain cover, 
You're going to want to use an 8mm socket to take off all 14 bolts. Wonderful. God, that took me way too long. All right. Wiggle it out of the way. Now you're gonna feel pull because there is a magnet in there. Take that out and uh, get it out. Nice. All right, so real quick, we're gonna do a comparison on really just uh, the new stator right here compared to the old stator right here. It's all discolored and it just doesn't look right. All right, let's get back to switching them. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to get a number four hex. I know we got this out. You can take off this one, which is holding in the speed sensor too. off this piece of metal right here. Alright, let's take this puppy out. Now that the stator and the speed sensor are out, we should take a plastic scraper to scrape off the old gasket. And uh, I recommend using plastic because it doesn't leave any scratches once you've finished. One eternity later. <sighs> I changed my mind. I'm using a razor. As long as I'm careful, I should be fine. Alright, now that we have the old gasket off, we can go ahead and put the new stator in. Just time it. All right, so at this point, we're gonna wanna use some thread locker. I'm um, using number 42. Dab it on. Just like that. We're gonna put in the speed sensor. At this point, you want to put this Shield right about what? Now that I figure out how this goes, we're gonna go ahead and apply the gasket sealer to where the wires come out of. Now you're gonna wanna let that sit for 10 minutes. 20 minutes later. Now that the liquid gasket is curing, we're going to move on and carefully remove the rest of the gasket from the case. Now that we have the old gasket off, we can go ahead and put on the new gasket. Now we can fit our stator back on.
Now that you have all 14 of them on, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and tighten them in a sort of star pattern. Now you should feed the wires up through to where the battery was. Plug your wires back in. All right, to finish it off, you're just gonna wanna put that oil hose. Put your chain cover back on. And lastly, you're gonna wanna put in your fresh oil. 